Hey everybody, Last Outrider here with part three of the Grey Knight Fluff coming at you. Yes, we're going to get right on to it now with the founding of the Grey Knights, a question I'm sure many people have spent many hours debating upon in the past. So, let's see what they have to say. The Grey Knights are the most mysterious of all the Imperium's warriors. Really? Who knows? I would have thought that would have been the Assassins, but you never know. Or maybe the Sisters of Silence. Their creation was the culmination of a plan conceived in the dying days of the Horus Heresy. Hidden from even the Emperor's armies, lest it be uncovered by his foes. Even now, few knew, know of their existence, and those that do possess only fragments of the truth. Legends and myth surround the Grey Knights, and those tales told about them are filled with broad misconceptions and fanciful lies. The vast hordes of humanity know nothing of the Grey Knights, and the handful of citizens that have heard the name uttered assume them to be an arm of the much-feared Inquisition, or a chapter of the mythical Space Marines. Some of the stories and fables taught by the Ministorum hold the barest hints of the existence of the Grey Knights. But they are portrayed as silver-armored angels, ghostly manifestations of the god-emperor, or shimmering reflections of the saints themselves, as often as not. Those soldiers that have fought alongside the Grey Knights and retained both their lives and their minds, we call them only as an unknown space marine chapter. Their unique weapons and psychic powers attributed to forgotten technology and tactical doctrine. Other space marines know better, should they see a gray knight in battle, but are wise enough not to dwell long in thought about these mysterious warriors. The Coming Doom The gray knights were born in the final bloody days of the Horus Heresy. The emperor knew that the time was coming when he would have to face his traitorous son Horus, and that he might well not survive. However, he foresaw that, even if Horus and his armies were defeated, the power of chaos would remain a constant threat to humanity. His greatest warriors, the Space Marines, had proven fallible to the temptations of the Dark Gods. And so the Emperor set out to create a new soldier in his bid to protect mankind. This new breed of Astartes would be stronger of will than his brothers, and unwavering in his loyalty to humanity. Able to stand naked before the power of the warp, and survive unscathed. In this dark time, the Emperor turned to Malkador the Sigilet, his most trusted servant, and the first High Lord of Terra. Malkador was a powerful psyker, lore keeper and of the fledgling imperium and had stood at the emperor's side since the unification wars the emperor dispatched malkador to scour the imperium for gifted warriors of a singular will upon whom the emperor's plans would rest as the emperor prepared for the final battle with horus malkador crossed the divided imperium searching corpse-choked battlefields, and worlds drowning in blood for the emperor, those who the emperor sought. No other man save the emperor himself could have been given such a task and hoped to complete it. However, Malkador returned to the imperial palace even as Horus's forces laid siege to Terra. Only the Sigilet's psychic mastery and knowledge of the hidden ways into the palace allowed him to slip through the traitor's battle lines to reach the Emperor's side. When the Master of Mankind looked upon those Malkador had brought, he knew that there was yet hope for humanity. Twelve men in all had been gathered, four lords and governors of the highest order, complemented by eight space marines that some of these battle brothers came from legions which had turned traitor. 
proved the depth of their loyalty to the emperor. For there can be no greater, tr greater challenge for a space marine than to defy the word of his primarch. Content that his plans could proceed, the emperor bade Malkador and his charges to leave for Titan. Now that's that's some interesting little details there for for those of us who who are crazy about stuff like that. Let, let me let's just go over those numbers again because they said the Grey Knight chapter and the Inquisition were created at the same time. Not one for the other or anything like that. They were all created at the same time in the same place. Tight and it said, it started, 12 men in all had been gathered, four lords and governors of the highest order. Okay? And that would mean eight space marines. And of those, a number of them were from the traitor legions of the time. That's what it is. That question's been answered. I hope you enjoy it, because next time we're going to deal with refuge from the storm. Don't know what storm it is, but we will find out later. Until then, bye.